tonight Mexican bean chili hello Edna thank you for joining my um, my broadcast today okay I'm just gonna play a few few songs just to get in the mood for this cooking broadcast um, and then we'll make a start we're gonna make some um, guacamole we're gonna be making some uh, we've got salsa already the Mexican chili and some tortillas as well uh, some nachos to go with this meal. So, if we're ready to start, let me just turn this down slightly. Okay, so I'm going to pause that, okay? So just to get you in the mood, get you in the, the, the feet, uh, get you in the mode. So I'm going to bring you down. Uh, hello, Christine, you've missed the music. Did you, you came into the music. Hopefully you heard the music. We might play it out with some music at the end, okay? So first thing we're going to do, we need to get some nachos on. That is the most important thing when it comes to Mexican food, is the nachos. And you can easily make these. All you need, you can buy tortillas, actual tortilla wraps. But if you've got any sort of wraps that you've got, it's basically these just chopped up. So let's make a start. I'm going to spin you around. Then we're going to make some guacamole and then we'll make the chili, okay? So, yeah, happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, so, yeah, 5th of May. Um, so, and if you don't know the history behind Cinco de Mayo, it was to do with the French that uh, there was a, a Napoleon in Mexico. Mexico, obviously Mexico won. And that's why they celebrate. Um, not a very good day for France, I suppose, but <laughs> uh, that is why they celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so I'm going to spin you around. Let's make a and do the nachos lots to do so you want a nice hot oven let's get some of these on so just take a few wraps as many as you want now we have made these before so we're just going to take some of these and we're going to chop these up hello let it be thank you for joining me so as i say three things we're doing nachos we're doing guacamole and then we're doing the mexican um, bean chili so just get three wraps however many you'd like and then we're just going to chop these up, okay? So just cut down. These are really simple to make. You can, we're going to put some salt and pepper on here. And you just want to chop these up. 
I was gonna play the song. I need to learn how to play the uh, uh, the guitar. <laughs> so just chop these up. They need to be a little bit smaller. <clears throat> Actually, they're not too bad. They're quite big, but they're meant to be big. You could even put cheese on the top of these. So that's basically all nachos are, is just the tortillas. So I'm just going to chop these up. Do the other ones. Really, really simple to make. I'll just cut them up like that and then move it as you go along. And then these are going to go in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Hello, Jay. Thank you. You're happy Cinco de Mayo. We could not miss out on this, on Mexican food. So these are basically tortillas. We're just going to we chop these up and then we're going to pop these on a on a uh, oven tray and then let me just take this out okay so you get your tray they are quite big doesn't matter though Oops. so pop these on your tray get them all on there and then we're going to pop some olive oil on here as well okay some so pop some oil on here Just like that. Make sure they're evenly spread out. Okay. And then we're going to put some salt and pepper on here as well. Okay, so get some salt and pepper. Well, not so much pepper really, just salt. a little bit more oil on here you've made it in time yeah i'm a little bit early i just thought i'd come on a bit quick a bit early okay so that's your oil and then these are going to go in the oven okay so really really simple you could even put on um some cheese on the top of them right next thing we're going to do is the guacamole so you're going to need avocados really really simple to make let's get a bowl you're going to need avocados um, and some limes. Okay, so let's get this done before we start on the chilli. So you want to get a really sharp knife. Cut the avocado. Okay, so just be careful. Who loves avocado? Who loves guacamole? I've also got some salsa here. These have been in the fridge, so I would actually highly recommend. One second. Highly recommend you take them out of the fridge first. Oops, I've cut through the other card. <laughs> Never mind. Oops. So we're just going to stab it. One second, be careful. Yeah, these are, I think they need to be out. There is a way to get these out much quicker. There we go. Um, just a second, everyone. <laughs> Disaster. There we go. I've cut into the seed, so I can't use that seed. We're going to use it for making uh, avocado tea. Okay. So you take your avocados. Let me know in the chat if you've made guacamole before. Maybe you like avocado on toast. Not doing a good job with this, am I? <laughs> there you go. There we go. Take out the skins. You don't need the skins. Sorry about this, guys. Usually it's a lot easier, but because I left them in the fridge too long. I'm just showing you in case you did the same thing. So the nachos are cooked. The nachos are in the oven. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so get you get a spoon. Get a spoon, and you're just gonna scoop out. Oh, oh, that's not good, is it? Falls on the floor. Scoop out all the 
avocado into the bowl. We're getting there slow, <laughs> slowly. What's going on today? Should have done this really when the Mexican uh, beef's cooking. It's because it's been in the fridge. So, yeah, I would highly recommend taking the avocado out of the fridge. Make sure it's at room temperature. So scoop all this out and you're just going to break this up. Then we're going to add in some lime juice. Can you all see me, guys? You love avocado on toast with smoked salmon. Christine, that sounds so nice. I could just eat that right now. I don't have any salmon. Smoked salmon. I know, I'm not doing the best. Usually, this is so easy to do. But yeah, scoop all this out. Let me know if you've had Mexican food today. Or let me know maybe what you what you're having for evening meal. Let me know what your favourite Mexican food is. I've I love Mexican food. I've, with Hello Fresh, I've been doing a lot of and simply called we're doing a lot of um, a lot of Mexican food as you've watched as you as you've seen. Okay, I'm going to cut up another one. Let's just do with the second one. Let's try not, let, hopefully this will be a lot easier. There we go, that's a lot better. Oops. So keep your avocado seeds, guys, because we will make avocado tea. I'm going to show you how to do that soon. Put that to one side. Sorry about that. And then we're going to scoop this into the bowl. I eat Mexican food about four times a week when I go home to visit family. What's your favourite food, um, Christine? What do you usually have? Do you have like fajitas, quesadillas? Um, all the nachos are smelling good, guys. Make sure they're nice and crispy. So yeah, you don't need to go out and buy all the, well you go and buy the fresh stuff, but this is fresh guacamole, really simple to make. Scoop all that in. This is really nice with the nachos. We've also got some salsa here. Now I know Alexis made salsa, I think. She said she was doing salsa, but I've not had a chance to watch uh, the replay back if, if she'd made salsa. Unless she's doing it later. So, let's scoop all this out. There we go. And then you're just going to get a fork, mash this up, and we're going to add some lime juice. Get rid of that. Wash my hands. Okay, so that's the avocado. Let's add in some lime juice. Oh, actually, I know what we can use. I've got an idea. Look what we can use. Da, da, da. Oh, yes. Everything's coming out today. But shall I use the little one or the smaller one? Let's use the... Uh, I'll use this one. So this slot's on there. And then we're just going to... We'll get all the juice out. I think I'm using the wrong one. So lime juice, the ju like a juicer. Do this one. Hope you can all see this, all right. I forgot to get limes. Go and get some limes, sir, if, the, if you've got a chance. wondering why I'm using this. I just wanted to use it. <laughs> Probably should have just squeezed it into the bowl. I'll squeeze the rest into the bowl. But I'll just show you how much more juice you get. Are you ready? Are you ready guys? Hopefully we'll get quite a bit. 
three, two, one. Oh yeah, look at that. Right, so now we're just going to mash this up. Just check on the nachos. Oh yeah, they're coming up nicely. Turn the oven down a bit so they're not too... And then we're just going to mash this up. Obviously, it's not this. This it's not at room temperature yet, so we will. I will be able to mash this up soon. <laughs> One second, and then you can add a bit of salt and pepper to this as well. And a little bit of olive oil. Go. So, and then you, you want to mash this up, and it will. Put, obviously, it's hard at the minute, so I'm going to have to put that to one side. Okay. So that's the guacamole. That'll be done soon. So let's make a start on the chili. Yeah, I was thinking that a little bit. I think it's uh, Linda. They were in the fridge, so um, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Okay. So let's make a start on the chili. Okay. So this is a simply cooked box get these in the UK. If you want to get these for free, four of these recipes for free, go in the link in the bio and you get free delivery as well. But remember, it is a subscription. Um, do you add onion and garlic too? No, I don't think. Let me just check something a minute. So when I did, when I did nachos before, I did them in here. So... I've got a recipe for them. I'll just double check I did everything correct. Uh, that's a chicken stew. I love that one. These are all the different recipes that I've made. There we go, nachos. Um, you can have baby plum tomatoes, coriander, lime, avocado, sour cream. Let me just check. So, quarter, okay, one second. Slice lengthways the avocado. Once you reach the stone, turn the avocado around. Remove the stone, scoop out the flesh into a bowl, mash with the back of a fork, add the remaining soured cream oh, and all of the spring onion and a squeeze of lime. Okay, so we're going to add some, you can add some sour cream into that. So remove the stone, scoop out the flesh, mash with the back of a fork and add some soured cream and all of the spring onions. So if you've got spring onions, yeah, we can add some spring onions in there as well and the lime juice and salt and pepper. Okay, so that's what you can do, okay? So yeah, we'll add some spring onions in there, which we'll do in a minute. Let's do the spring onions then. Yeah, really, really great tip. Thanks, Anne, for that. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these up. Let's get the knife, chop the ends off. Chop these into into rounds, and we'll make a start on the chili. And we're going to add some sour cream as well. Obviously, once it's all mashed up, so I'm just going to leave it out. It'll be the last thing I do, okay? Because I want it to be at room temperature, and it should then be a little bit easier. So we take the spring onion. I'm going to add that to the bowl, okay? So spring onions I'm going to add with the guacamole, just like that, guys. Can you see? And then we can add the sour cream, and I'll be able to mash that a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit tough at the minute. Okay, I'll put that to one side. Let's make a, make a start on the chili. So Mexican bean chili, let's have a look in the box. Let's see what we've got. Okay, how's the connection, guys? Is it all, Is it okay? So we've got some beef stock, smoky chilli blend and chipotle paste. So that's what we're going to be using tonight. Um, for this recipe, you're going to need 150 grams of basmati rice. So let's, um, let's measure that out. So we'll switch this on. Let's measure this out. Check on the nachos. Oh, oh yeah, these are coming up nicely. Let's have a look at these. Oh yes. 
So here are our nachos, guys. Oh, they've, they've come up really well. Look at these. Oh, they're so crispy. So we can have some of that with the... We've got some salsa here, already made salsa with sour cream and guacamole. I'm going to put, put them on a plate, let them, cook, let them cool down. Let's have a little taste of one. Are you ready for the crunch? Mmm. Oh my god, these taste amazing. I'm going to put these in a bowl. Mmm. Oh my god. These taste amazing. And they're super big as well. Probably should have made them a little bit smaller. But yeah, really, really simple to make. If you've already got wraps, just toast them in the oven and then they're ready. Oh, look at these. Yummy, absolutely yummy. I think I've made too many. <laughs> would, you get, would anybody like one? Mm. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can get any more in the plate. Look at these guys. Did Pablo make them? I'm surprised he's not been on today actually. Maybe he'll be on later. That would be really good. Hmm. Right, we'll pop this one side. Oh my god, these are so nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're so good. Get all the crisps off. Mm. Sorry, everyone. Hello, junk food junkie. How are you doing? That's very true, Christine. Yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Well, that's the cooking guy. <laughs> 150 grams of basmati rice. We're doing the Mexican chili. Remember to weigh everything so you know exactly what you're eating. 150 grams. Okay. Let me just turn these off. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, hob nice and hot as well. So that's going to take a minute to warm through. I seem to be all over the place today. <laughs> One minute. Thank you for your patience, everybody. <laughs> right. Mm, so good. Okay, so we want 300 millilitres of water, which need to be on the boil. So let me put on the kettle. So I'm just going to boil the kettle. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to chop an onion. So we've got the rice. I'm going to pop this straight into this pan, this saucepan, because we're going to add the water to it and then we will be then adding um, the beef stock. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. Okay, and we're going to chop up an onion. So have a guess what I'm going to use. Any guesses? <laughs> Any guesses? I think I need to turn the oven off now, actually. I don't need to use the oven. Okay, so we're going to use the dicer. So you know I use this all the time. So let's chop this up, chop this onion. So we're going to chop the ends off. I don't know if you can see this very well, but... Get rid of the ends. I feel like I'm going to have a feast tonight. I'm really sorry if you're hungry or you've not had anything to eat, but your time will come round, I'm sure. I was 
so tempted to get a Taco Bell today when I was in, in Leeds, but I decided not to. But I'm sure this by this time next year, the Taco Bell will have opened just round the corner from where I live. So I uh, will certainly be there this time next year. I'm really sorry if I miss any comments because my phone's pointing downwards. Everyone has beautiful beverages at home. Hello, Caroline. Come over and we'll have a drink and a chat. So look what I'm using, Caroline. Chop this up. Make it a little bit smaller. Pop the lid on. Oops. And then we're going to dice this up. There we go. Nice and easy. Sorry for the noise. God, it's making racket stuff. There we go. You've got to apply a bit of pressure to it. So we go. There's all our chopped onions. How simple that was. I absolutely love this. Hi, Jay. Hola, como esta? Como estas usted? Right, let's get all those onions out. Cabellos. Cabellos. Okay, can't get all the rest of them. Okay, so next thing we do, let's add in the the water. So where's my jug? It's like a comedy show in here sometimes. I always put things in places where they shouldn't really be. So 300 millilitres of water. So I'm going to add this to the saucepan. So I'm going to add this to the saucepan here. Just like that. Get rid of this. And then I'm going to stir in the beef stock. So you get beef stock with Simply Cook in the packets. So I'm just going to add that in. So I'll put it to one side. And then we're going to put the lid over it and let it boil until it's cooked. So we're adding beef stock just like that. Just going to take that out and pop that into the, the saucepan. I will spin you around in a second so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Won't be a minute. And I'm just going to mix this in <coughs> into the rice. I'll show you in a second. Okay, nice and easy. Let me spin you around. <clears throat> so here's the rice, here's the beef stock, and I'm going to put the lid over the top. I seem to have too much on here. <coughs> okay, pop the lid on, and then just let that cook. Okay, so next step we're going to do then is we're going to heat, <clears throat> we're going to fry the mint. This should be nice and hot, so we need a little bit of oil. So we're doing a Mexican chili, okay, and you want 250 grams of lean Brit well lean steak mince, just like this. So in here I've got 500, so what I like about these packets is they divide up the, the meat for you, so I'm not having to worry about portion size or anything. So well, you can just weigh it out if you wanted to. So you see how there's a there's a strip here. Take your strip. Uh, um, I don't think a lot of people knew that. And then we're going to pop this in the pan just like that. Put that to one side, I'll put that back in the fridge. Okay, also it says here, sorry, <laughs> I was meant to add the onions and the peppers in first. So let's add the onions in at the same time. So, and I'll keep the meat on the other side. Because this pan is quite a big pan. So You're going to need a red pepper as well. I've got to do the red pepper. So 
Just mash that up. Some beef mints. You can't see this, can you? Yep. Yeah. We're just going to do a pepper as well very quickly. Again, I'm going to use the dicer. Look at this! Look at this red pepper. How shiny that is! So very, very shiny. So I'm going to have to do this very quickly. But you know what the best thing about this dicer is? I can just chop this pepper up, and I'll show you how quickly. Look, just chop that up. Oops. Straight in, just like that. <clears throat> Straight in the pan, no messing around. Do the last one. And it's all cut nice and even. Mm. Okay, so just break up the mince. So what you would do is add the onions in first and the peppers and then do the beef afterwards but because I put the beef in first I've sort of just popped it on one side of the pan as long as it's as long as you break it up, it's fine. Hello, Darby. Thank you for coming in. Happy Cinco de Mayo. So today we're, not, we're doing this one. We're doing a Mexican bean chili. And this is a simply cook recipe. So just break that up. <clears throat> And then we'll give everything a big mix afterwards, okay? So let me know what you're, you guys are doing for Cinco de Mayo. Maybe you're ordering food or maybe cooking something yourself. I'll try to read the comments. You might have already told me, but I do need the mash and mix. Mix, mix and mash? Mash, mash and mix? Mash and chop, that's it. That's the one. Give all that a stir as well. Look at the colour on that. I'm just kind of keeping the meat to one side just until it's all fully cooked. It's getting there. Okay. I'm just going to check on my rice. That's cooking away nicely as well. So the rice needs to go on for 12, 10 to 12 minutes. Um, onions and red peppers for three to four minutes, and, the ch and then we're going to add some smoky chili blend. Smoky chili blend goes in with the peppers and the onions. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Anne, for coming in. Thank you. You're very welcome. I understand because we all live in different time zones, so sometimes we've got other things to be doing and. There's lots of other broadcasters as well, so the fact that you can come in and stay with me for a few, you know, even 10 minutes or 5 minutes is more than enough. So those that stay till the end, or watch me on the replay as well, it's just amazing. I just, I couldn't quite, I can't quite imagine, like, all the people that do watch me on here. I just like to cook, that's all. I'm just a normal person, just cooking as normal. And just think of all the time, all the people out there in the world that are cooking and that would, could easily just film it and you learn so much because we all love food. Okay, so that meat's nearly done, okay. Now it's meant to have some of the chilli blending, so let's start to add the chilli blending. So this is a smoky chilli blend. We're going to add it, we'll mix it all in actually. I think it's meant to go in the beef actually, but we're slightly doing it a different way. So it's meant to go in with the veggies and then it all gets mixed in but I'm just going to add it all over. 
into the peppers and the onions. Yeah, just mix it all in. Very, very simple. I'm trying to tidy up as well as I go along. Okay, let's mix all this in. Look at all that, guys, and it'll all come together. See the colour on that? This smells really good. So just make sure there's no pink bits in the meat. Okay. I'm just try and tidy up a bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some beans. Well, I'm going to use red kidney beans. It actually asks for baked beans, not baked beans in tomato sauce. If you're all wondering like, which we have for breakfast, not those. Okay, I was putting the iPad away and I just realised that I'm going to play you out with the fact. Let's play some music now while we're cooking. Just a little, just to get those who've come in quite late in the in the spirit. Here we go. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. Ay, 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 Oh, you missed that. You missed that, Sarah. We did that at the beginning. <laughs> okay. We're going to add in the beans now. grams of beans. We're going to add in some kidney beans, like sad beans is. some chipotle paste then this is the cook for 10 minutes look off my spoon so this is the chipotle paste Really nice. I think had some water though. Thanks, Christine. No worries.
We're going to stir it very well, it says. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> I don't want to get banned from hats, do I? Okay, so we're going to give that a big mix. We've added some chipotle paste, and we're just going to stir this really well. And then it want, you want to reduce the heat to medium and let it cook for 10 minutes, okay? Now, this pan's really hot already. So I'm going to just tidy up as I go along. Just checking that rice is on. Yeah, it is boiling away. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. That's the rice. So it's getting there. So we're going to give this a good mix. So that was really nice, guys. Hopefully you can see this all right. Oh, there was a was there dancing. Was there... <laughs> okay, we're going to take some... Now, this chilli is best. It says you're going to, we're going to serve it with some rice obviously the rice beef stock rice sour cream guacamole and sprinkle with some grated cheese so i can use my small grater as well to make this to uh, put the cheese all over the top so we've got our sour cream we've got some sour cream here let's finish off the guacamole that i was making earlier so here's the guacamole that we've started to make so i'm going to add some sour cream once once this has mashed up a little bit, and it's a really good mash because it's still a bit ripe. But I think we'll be okay. If not, then don't worry too much. But I would advise you yeah, leave your avocados out of the fridge. <laughs> I didn't say it's not the end of the world. Try and mash this up as best as I can. It's smelling really good, everybody. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah, potato masher. Let's try it with that. I might say a little bit too big, but we'll give it a try. Yes. Great tip. Thank you. Yeah, I can use the end of this to mash this up. What would I do without you guys? I would have been there sighting a huge piece of avocado on my on my uh, nacho. That's, look at that. So much better. Thank you, Mary. Now, once this is all mashed up, we're going to add a little bit of sour cream into the avocado. Not into the avocado, into the guacamole. Is looking so much better now. There we go, look at that guys. So much better, thank you. Stay your chili, yes. I love when I get instructions for things to do, yeah, otherwise it will start to stick at the bottom and go very dry and burn. There we go. So 10 minutes it says, uh, so let's add a little bit of sour cream into this. So, we're gonna... so into the guacamole, let's put some sour cream, just just a little bit, and then it makes it easier to Oh yeah, that's so much better. So we've got spring onions in here now, guacamole. There we go. That's perfect. Yeah. 
So that is that is ready. I'm going to put that on the table, and then what I'm going to do is I'll post a picture of the of everything, and I'll put it on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Aiden leaves one. Just quickly show you. There's the tortillas that we made earlier, and there's the guacamole. Okay. Okay, so this is nearly done, everyone. Just give it a big of a stir. So this is on a low heat, but this smells really, really nice. Okay, so we're nearly done. Let me stir the the rice. So if we are ready to serve. Oh yeah, the rice is done as well. So let's turn that out. Use a whisk. Stir your chili before it burns to the bottom. Use a whisk to mix it up. Yeah, this is done now, guys, though. So I'm turning that off. So I'm just going to move it to one side. Take it off the hob. Okay. Really hot. And then what we're going to do is going to start to serve. Let me take some. So I'm going to get a big spoon. That needs to go on the rice. So we serve the chilli over rice with some sour cream. Oops, sorry, you don't want to see that. So we're going to take our rice and just get another, another bowl. So let's take the rice. It smells really good. I know when I cook, you're all thinking, I wish I could eat that right now. I'm sorry. Better put that on the side. So remember, we weighed everything out. So there's a, there is exactly 75 grams of basmati rice per bowl, which is the recommended amount. Get all that out. Okay. And then we're going to add the chili on the top. So we're going to take some of this chili. Look at this, guys. So that's one. Let me do the second one. You do get quite a lot. If you don't eat all the tortilla chips, toss them in a bowl with some cinnamon sugar for a delicious Mexican. Do you know that's a really great idea? I might actually do that, actually, afterwards. Um, okay, so serve the chili over the rice with some soured cream. So we're going to put some soured cream on here. Oh, let me get a spoon. Another spoon. Should have mixed this up first. Put some sour cream on here. Just do the second one. Oh, this smell, this tastes amazing. Got loads of sour cream left. Okay, and then we're going to add, can I add your guacamole on there as well? So that's enough. That, let me just go and get the guacamole. Right, where's my other spoon gone? Let's get another one. So a little bit of the guacamole on here as well. Look at this, guys. Yum, 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 yum. And then put some more on the other plate. And then finally, we're going to add some cheese. So let's get some cheese. And I'm going to use the cheese grater on this. 
Oh my god, this looks amazing. So we're going to use the cheese grater. So what I do is I put the cheese in here and this will cut up, grate the cheese for me. So I don't have to worry about cutting my hands or anything like that. If I can get the cheese off. So I break the cheese up. This goes in the top. We shut the and then we just start to grate this. It should move okay. all over the top, just like that. We've got our grated cheese on the top. And there we go. That is it, guys. That is the, the chili, Mexican chili. We've got the nachos. We've also got some salsa as well. The guacamole, the sour cream. That is... I guess the best Mexican dish you could possibly have. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Let me just do the other one. Now, if that doesn't deserve a wow award, I don't know what, because this smells amazing. <laughs> Let me just cut this and do this second one with the cheese. So, hey Alexis, thanks for coming in. I'm not sure, I wasn't sure if you made the salsa because I've not seen your replay. I watched the one with the troll when I got back home. Okay, I am now finished. So there you go, guys. You can't see the guacamole on that one. This is the second one. This is the second one here. So we've got the cheese, we've got the, 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 um, <clears throat> the chili. We've got the rice underneath with the beef stock. Um, we've got the cheese on the top. Sprinkle some smoked paprika on top of the cheese. Oh, I don't think I've got any paprika, unfortunately, but I will definitely um, try that again in future. And if I've got some tortillas, I will add the cinnamon on as well. So thank you, everybody, that's come in today and watched the broadcast. Uh, we had a little bit of a dance. We've played some Mexican music. And hopefully I will see you again tomorrow. Um, where we're we doing steak tomorrow, so <laughs> it's like an endless week of cooking, unfortunately, and the sour cream on there as well. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you on your broadcast very, very soon. Take care. Take care, everybody.